I think I must say it in my Twitter comments, at least ooh, 15 or 20, maybe even 30 or 40 times a day that the only thing that matters in life is implementation. It's the only thing that makes a difference. And one of the things that you have to implement, that you have to execute, that you have to do is to live a life of freedom. The freedom that you deserve. That's why it's very important that you like and subscribe and share to spread this very, very important message. What you have to understand, and this goes really, really deep, is that right from the moment that you start interacting with people from the earliest of ages, it may even happen before you've emerged from your mother you will mostly be servicing what other people want. You'll mostly be servicing other people's needs. And they themselves, you can pretty much guarantee, will not really have a clear idea of what it is that they want to do. When you think about school, I made a really good comment. I made lots of really good comments, actually, because I read what people say and then I respond accordingly. And I am an intelligent man. I like to believe that I'm a kind and wise man as well. And that there was this chap who said, um, fun fact, um, that teachers are most often millionaires. And the thing is, I said, well, it depends on what kind of teacher you're talking about, because it does. Because we all know that in school, you know, university, school, whatever educational institution you're talking about, what you'll actually find is that you're not really being educated. And what entrepreneurs do, the entrepreneurial journey, is about educating people, inspiring them. And what education actually means is a leading out, a leading out of what is already within you. But teaching actually is intrusion. So the difference between education is that edu education teaches you how to think and teaching in the traditional sense in educational institutions means teaching you what to think, telling you what to think. And you are experiencing that on an unprecedented scale because we start school, you know, parents hand over their children at three or four years old over to total strangers and then all of those people are telling you, right, you've got to think this. And they're also preparing you for what to say to the next group of people. So you go from school, then you go to university, then you go from universities to jobs. Uh, and then you go from jobs to training courses. And then you go back to uh, the old job or a new job. And so you've always got people <laughs> just funneling you through this unbelievably relentless and confusing system that is completely outdated and not actually designed to teach you or to, well, to educate you to living a life of freedom. They don't want free thinkers. <laughs> no, they just want you to agree with them most of the time. You know, teachers don't have a good reputation and I'm afraid it is largely well-earned. Yeah, but the funny thing is, you will often find whenever you talk to anybody, they'll have gone through school for, you know, a decade and a half, even longer. And they will have encountered, I mean, you'll have encountered huge amounts. And I remember that I encountered lots. You encounter huge amounts of teachers, but you'll remember maybe one or two, you know, the person that actually encouraged you and supported you and genuinely made you think. And when you turn that towards yourself, really start thinking about on a daily basis, if you haven't already done so, start to think about what it is that you really want, what you want to really do. What would be a meaningful thing for you to do? What would make your life feel more purposeful and satisfying? because you do deserve to have that. 
And the same with, with creativity, with artistry. You'll meet a total stranger and they'll seem just like, you know, a regular ordinary Joe. And, and then they'll, <laughs> they'll show you a website of all of this incredible music that they've composed or fantastic artworks that they do and you can never, it's why they say never judge a book by its cover. We do, <laughs> but it's also nice to be surprised. And there are so many people who have these latent talents and I'm sure that there are things that you want to do and can do really, really well, if only you would share it. Or, well not or, the first step to showing it is actually implement it. I've had a little bit of a, or you can't tell from the view, but I've had a little reorganization of the flat. I've displayed some things on my notice board, you know, well, on my notice board, um, on my, on my shelves. I've repainted things to make them look more beautiful. I cleaned inside of the door um, of the airing cupboard that has lots of useful things in it. You know, constantly be tuning, tuning your environment and making sure that you are leading a life of freedom because that's why you have been placed on this planet. It's every single person's birthright to have a life that they want to lead according to their own and your own principles, values, needs and desires. That's what everybody wants. It's what everybody deserves. And it's down to you to do the work. That's it. That is the video. Design the life of freedom that you want. Be accepting and open and willing to ask for help. And your life will will get better. When the student is ready, the teacher will appear. But make sure it's a good teacher. But teach yourself, bring it out of yourself to trust yourself, to trust your vision and to trust that you can actually lead the life that you truly and want to live. Please do it. Thank you very much for listening. Martin Pavey here. Please do like and subscribe and share to spread this very important message. And I look forward to seeing you on the next video. Please trust yourself. You are entitled to the freedom that you desire.